In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to use this label with Clover. First, you need an app that's called Variable Price Barcode Parser. Once you install this app, you want to do the configuration. The steps will be spelled out here, but let me tell you. You want to open an app called Settings. And then in Settings, you want to go to Accessibility. And in Accessibility, you will see a variable price barcode parser like this. And you need to turn this on. Make sure it's turned on like mine is. And that will take care of the accessibility. The next thing you want to do is you want to open this app in Clover called Inventory. And in Inventory, we're going to create an item for this label. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to give it a name. We're going to make this item variable. And right here in the product code, we're going to enter two followed by four zeros and a one. Those are the digits. And then we're going to hit save. And now we can go to register and start a new order. And I can scan this barcode. And there's my item, 2268. So if you're scanning with the barcode scanner and it's not working, try the camera like this and scan it with the camera and you should get the same result. Now the barcode scanner must come from Clover, it cannot come from anywhere else, it has to come from Clover to work. And uh, if you open the variable price barcode parser app and click on the three lines and click on barcode setting, mine is set to the fourth option. Right there. Uh, I'm sorry, second option, I apologize. The second option. One, two, second option. Save. Okay, thank you.